Hi, and welcome to this deeper dive on Azure Databricks. In this video, we're gonna talk about enterprise performance with Databricks Runtime. Azure Databricks is a fast, easy, and collaborative Apache Spark-based analytics platform optimized for Azure. Azure Databricks drives innovation and increases productivity. It brings your teams together in a collaborative workspace on a secure, trusted cloud and enables you to scale without limits. Designed in collaboration with the founders of Apache Spark, it combines the best of Databricks and Azure to help customers accelerate innovation with one-click setup, streamlined workflows, and an interactive workspace that allows collaboration between data scientists, data engineers, and business analysts. As an Azure service, customers automatically benefit from native integration with other Azure services, such as Power BI, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, Cosmos DB, and it benefits from enterprise-grade Azure security, including Active Directory integration, compliance, and enterprise-grade SLAs. For this video, let's check out the power of Databricks Runtime and how DBIO, Databricks Input Output, customizations can enhance your experience working on big data analytics. All right, so let's show off the performance of Databricks Runtime on a massive 10 billion record table. As you can see here, if I take a count star of the table, I get 10 billion records, and it takes us about 25 seconds to get those results returned to us. Um, just for information, I think we're running on a 20 node cluster. As you can see below in the cell, in this cell, we have the ability to turn off these optimizations if you'd like to. One thing to note, though, is that you can see the, the databricks.io here. This means that this is a custom enhancement or a custom optimization in the Databricks runtime platform. A cool feature that I'd like to show off is data skipping. What is data skipping? Well, it allows us to use file level statistics to know whether or not we want to scan the data that's inside the file which allows us to then scan only those file files that are important to uh, the query that we submit. For instance, if we turn data skipping off and we're looking for stock of a price greater than 1,000, it takes us roughly 44 seconds to achieve this. But if I turn data skipping on, then we don't want to look through the Parquet files where there's no stocks that have prices above 1,000. When we do this, our query time drops significantly to 5.7 seconds. Another cool feature that I want to show off is transparent caching. What this does is it caches a set of the data that we're querying on the hard drive, which allows us to free up the memory for other optimizations. When that data is cached to the hard drive, and this isn't the results of the data, but the data itself, other users and other queries can leverage this data as well. So let's take a look at another query. If we turn data skipping and data caching off, this query takes about one minute to run. Standard, grab an average price from their stock table, group by a date where we have our average price greater than 11. If we turn data skipping and data caching on, on the first run, we can see that our performance is improved pretty significantly to 34 seconds. However, on the second time that we run this query again, after the cache that is, it's improved even greater to 10 seconds. There's also some more advanced query optimizations like aggregate pushdowns and dynamic partition pruning. Let's see what happens when we turn all of these capabilities off and we run a query. You can see here that the query takes about one minute to run. Not an overly complicated query, maybe a standard query that you might find where you're, you're looking to join some tables and do some group buys and some other um, filtering options. But when you want to run this query with the optimizations turned on, you can see that we're significantly improved to a 5.39 seconds to return our results. 
What does this mean for you? Well, this means that as you go to use Databricks Runtime, you're gonna have a more interactive experience. It's gonna be more fun to use. You're gonna be able to achieve more in the time that you spend doing your development. This also means in the background while jobs are running, the clusters can execute more on less time. Databricks has made tons of custom enhancements to the base Apache Spark to make computations run many times faster. This means that you get to spend more time working on value-add activities and clusters spend less time working on computations. It gives us cool features like data skipping and transparent caching, as well as many other query optimizations. In serverless, the ability to intelligently schedule jobs and resource availability for all users. Thanks for watching and to see how else Databricks improves your big data analytics ecosystem, check out the Azure Databricks collaborative environment, which makes solutioning and working together even easier.